If you're someone looking to get into video editing, maybe for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, then you might be put off by the high prices of desktop software such as Premiere Pro. Well, today I'm going to take a look at this. This is Illustro. This is an online video editing platform, which means you don't need a super powerful PC and it offers many of the same features as you'll find in the more premium packages, but you could just run it on something like a Chromebook or a very low end laptop. Voice over Mark, why don't you show the viewers all the different features? Thank you on screen, Mark. Okay, so this is the interface. I have to say, after playing with this for a while, I'm very impressed with the overall speed. As a Premiere Pro user, I sometimes find it uh, kind of grinds to a halt for no reason I can figure out. I don't do anything too complicated, but this has been super quick. And one thing I like is it, it's not just a simple video editor. This is a multi-track editor, allowing you to put uh, videos onto different tracks. You've got your sound, your music can all go on different tracks. So the interface is very crisp and clean. You've got your media library. You've got access to stock images and also AI images. So if I say cat, that'll bring up landscape cats, but you can then change that to portrait or square and do another search and it'll come up. And if there's nothing there that you quite like, you can go here and say cat DJ, generate image, and you can see here it's um, it's not their own image generator. It's powered by the OpenAI image generator. So, so, <laughs> so there we have, I like all those. So, so there we have some cat DJs, and we can just add them to the project. And then when we go back, you can see there they are. And uh, this is another thing I just wanted to show you very quickly before I carry on, is used. Now that's one thing that I really love about this. If I put something on the timeline, it'll mark it as being used, which is such a simple little thing, but I really appreciate that because if you have a lot of clips where you're just talking and it's the same look and style, it can be very difficult to figure out what you've used and what you haven't. We've also got stock videos. Again, you can filter landscape and portrait. There's stock audio, you've got music and sound effects. And uh, just play. And if we go down more, we've got text. This is your fancy text that you might want to put on screen as opposed to uh, used for captioning. Stickers, uh, not really much use for them, but if, there you go. If you're doing some social media stuff, this might be for you. Transitions allow you to transition between video. These are just different effects and you simply drag them between like this and that gives you the transition. So there's quite a few different styles, everything you could want really here. Filters, now this is super interesting because when playing around with this, these filters, if I just go to looks, you've got quite a few more, are ones that you can pop on and they will apply to anything under it. Okay, so there's one. Let's just take that off. This is an online video. So that's applying to all of them. Now, what if you just wanted to apply it to one? Well, if you double click, then you get the uh, video effects panel. Basically, everything you want to apply to this clip, you can do so here. And that's where you can do color correction and add a filter only to this particular clip. You see now it's only applying to the one underneath and not the cat one. So when you click on a clip, you get the settings for that particular clip. So we've just applied that filter, but here you can see we've got the blending modes, transform, zooms, position. You can adjust the speed. You can apply the filter. You can apply uh, different effects. And they, they render super quick. So I can press play and there it is straight away. Whereas um, if you're doing this on a desktop PC, you might have to wait a moment for it to render. So that's one of the advantages. Color correction, you can adjust the audio. Master key is where you've got a solid background like this or a green background is normally what you do. Simply click this, click this and boom, background has gone. Animation, in, in out animation, you've got uh, some masks. If you want to do masking, so, 
and finally you've got some background if you're doing different background colors so you, all of these things here things like the transitions filters effects masks these apply to everything on the timeline whereas when you do it within here they apply to just that clip so this is just a stock clip and if you just press play you can see it's two guys fighting and what i really like is they've got some pre-built speed effects now you can just change the speed or you can use this curve section and what this is showing you is when it's high up it's fast and when it's low down it's slow that middle bar represents normal speed so it's going to go fast slow fast back to normal and all you do is click on it and that's applied the speed curve so now when we play it there it goes fast there it goes slow that's the dip and so each of these is slightly different bullet time montage jumper and so you can simply click on the one you want and it's applied it straight away to give you some speed effects then you can go and add some effects so now it looks a little bit grainy a little bit like it's film grain so it's also worth noting they have a template library which if we just go in and i do youtube so let's click youtube so we've got a lot of different templates available and they're sorted by aspect ratio and then we so when you click use template it creates the project for you and then you're welcome to come in and edit this so this is a, a great example of the multi-tracks in use you can see down the bottom here we've got music we've then got the stock clips with the transitions and then we've got these little animated sections logo which is just one that stays constant and then the text so you'd swap out the logo maybe adjust the text if you need to but it's all there and then you might just want to swap out some of these if they don't quite fit with the theme you're going but very quickly you could have a really good looking video that uh, can be exported and when we go to export you can select whether you want it 480 720 1080 or 4k there's the output type of mp4 or mov uh, this, uh, and then you've got uh, code rate and frames per second you can also take a small section of it and export it as a gif which i think is a pretty cool option as well so i've been doing some experiments with this and i wanted to make a short for an upcoming video for another channel and when i imported it i've got it in the uh, correct format so it can do widescreen or portrait or square and i've clicked on the the clip and i've done auto subtitles and it's listened and created the subtitles but there's a couple of things when i was doing this that i noticed i think need to be improved so first off if we just play this a little bit Hi, so, I've just finished. so the subtitles are fine but they're generated slap bang in the middle now you can just um if we drag that up unfortunately it puts all of them in that up position um the subtitles are okay but they don't really pop they look a little bit boring so I, i'd like to see some better subtitling uh, done and the other thing that i found is a little bit annoying is there doesn't seem to be um ripple delete so if i cut there and cut there if i delete that section it leaves a gap and there doesn't seem to be a way of deleting it so everything ripple deletes and pulls everything over and now what i'm going to have to do is come out and uh, you have to drag all that and move that across but i'm hoping that's going to be something that they can very easily update in the future i'll put an affiliate link to this below right now it's available on appsumo and if we scroll down you've got two choices 29 or 89 for me i think 89 is a great price one-time purchase for this because the difference is you get unlimited exports unlimited use of the stock media which is images video and audio much higher storage four hours of auto subtitles and ready to use templates